In this lesson we're going to take a look at creating a new mailbox database on the Exchange uh, 2010 server. Now what I've done to get ready for this is I've created some extra disks on the virtual machine. You can see them here, the, uh, the two log drives F and G and also the two data drives H and I drives. Now you can do that in VirtualBox. Um, you will have to shut down the, the virtual machine first before you do it. But you can just do that through the settings in this storage area here. Uh, just click on your SATA controller and add new hard drives the same way you created the, the, uh, the hard drive when you uh, were first setting up the machine. So we've got these disks here. Now let's have a look at which Mailbox databases are already on the server. The Mailbox databases are found in the Organization Configuration section, the Exchange uh, Management Console. As you can see, there's already one Mailbox database on this server. It's called Mailbox Database and then a string of numbers. Now that string of numbers uh, is randomly generated uh, by Exchange when it first installs the server. The reason for that is that uh, every Mailbox Database in an Exchange uh, 2010 organization needs to have a completely unique name within that organization. So no longer do databases need to be unique uh, uniquely named just on the server they're on. Uh, they now need to be uniquely named within the entire organization. So Microsoft uh, has this random number appended to the first Marbox database that's created for you. So let's go ahead and look at creating a new Marbox database. And we can do that here in this database management section uh, by clicking on the new Marbox database action over here and that starts up the wizard. And the first thing we need to do is give it a name. So as I said, the mailbox database name needs to be uh, unique within the entire organization. So you need to come up with a naming standard um, that supports that within your, your organization. In this case, I'm just going to call it mailbox database 2. And the server that I'm going to put it on is the only server that I've got, which is EX2010 server. Click next. Now I want to change these default database and log file paths so that I can use uh, these new disks that I created um, on the server. So uh, the log drive is log2 for mailbox database2. And I'm just going to create a folder in here and call it mailbox database2. And also on the data drive, I'll create a folder, mailbox database2. So that's G drive for the logs and I drive for the data. So I'll go back here and just replace these uh, strings here. Okay. So I drive for the data, G drive for the logs. Just double check that. G drive for the logs, yep. The Marbox database 2 is the folder name and then the database name. Uh, the actual file name itself will also be Marbox database 2.edb. Uh, this tick box here to mount this database. So what will, what will happen is uh, Exchange will automatically mount the database when it first creates it. Uh, it you can actually clear that if you want to. Um, in some circumstances, in some Active Directory environments, the database won't mount immediately when it's first been created, uh, and you need to wait for Active Directory replication to occur. Uh, so in some cases, it's more appropriate to clear that checkbox. I'm going to leave it ticked for now and just see what happens. So I'm happy with all that. I'll click Next. It asks me one more time if that's what I want to do. Absolutely. That task was completed successfully, so the mailbox database was created and it was able to be mounted straight away. So I've clicked finish to get rid of that wizard. And this will refresh now and we can see that new mailbox database appears in the management console right there. Let's have a look back in Windows Explorer. A log drive. You can see some transaction logs have been created as the mailbox was created and mounted. Mailbox database was created and mounted, I should say and over here the actual database file itself. 
So now we have a brand new Mailbox database on our server.